There's only one thing that makes airplanes fly, and that's energy. However, this energy can come in many different forms, as I've demonstrated in another video by adding up the kinetic, potential, and fuel energies to arrive at the total energy of the aircraft. But all we can do as pilots is control how we spend these various quantities to get safely from point A to point B. Starting from the ground, we must first convert some of our fuel energy into airspeed and altitude to get up in the air. Once we're in the air, the pilot can choose to trade off kinetic energy for potential energy by climbing, or vice versa by diving and gaining airspeed. Unfortunately, we can't keep trading these back and forth forever, because there's a leak in the airspeed energy tank, and that's called drag. In order to keep flying level and at the same speed, we need to convert a little bit of that fuel energy to keep the tanks at the same level. In all aircraft, the engine functions as this converter, which is what makes it so vital. If something were to happen to it, then all the fuel energy becomes useless, and we're left with only what's in the other two tanks when the engine fails. This is why you'll hear pilots advocating against low approaches, but in reality, there's nothing dangerous about a low approach, only a low energy approach. It doesn't matter how much altitude you have when your engine fails, only how much total energy you have. This was coined as energy maneuverability theory by Air Force legend John Boyd in the 1960s and is credited with changing Air Force pilot training forever. Let's take a look at a practical example. What I want to do is I want to demonstrate for people that there's a difference between a low approach and a low energy approach. And there's only one of the two that's dangerous. And you can tell me which one. Because people sometimes panic anytime they see the trees. But as long as you have plenty of energy, and that kind of be in honor of legendary pilot Bob Hoover, who passed away earlier this year, my flight instructor's personal idol, um, and I really respect everything he's done. Look up this amazing performance he's done, where he has a cup of water, and he, he pours water out of a pitcher while doing a loop. That's how good he is. Wow. So he would tell you, it's all about energy management. And that's what my flight instructor taught me. So watch what I'm going to do. You see how this looks like a pretty pretty decent sight picture? Yeah. Well, we have tons and tons of energy right now, right? We're doing, we're inside the yellow arc. We're doing 130 knots, okay? Lower, 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 lower. Runway's not even in sight anymore, right? Yep. I'm gonna take the power all the way out. Power's gone. Runway's still not even in sight. The hundred knots. Eighty knots. Seventy. Two notches of flaps. Three. And we're still floating. So as long as you have plenty of energy, you're coming in at 130 knots. It doesn't matter how low you are over the trees. You can still pull up and climb up to 1,000 feet, probably with no power. It's all just energy management. A low approach is not dangerous. Low energy is dangerous. We can further understand the trade-offs between energies by examining the power required chart. You can see that technically the safest thing to do would be to make every single approach at exactly the best glide speed from the moment you begin your descent. But as long as you have excess energy, just as we did in this video, it doesn't really matter what you do with it. In fact, you can see that it's much easier to lose energy by flying too slow than too fast, meaning that it's safer to have more airspeed than to be on the treacherous side of the curve where a small mistake can make a much bigger difference in your available energy. Personally, I didn't even fully understand energy maneuverability theory before I set out to make this video, so I hope you guys learned something too. As always, fly safe, make educated decisions, and until next time on the Friendly Skies channel, squawk VFR and have fun.